Welcome. In this video we will explain what an encoder is, why it is used, give guidelines for selecting the best encoder for your application, and how to connect one to your Insight L38. An encoder is a device that converts mechanical motion into electrical signals. These signals communicate with other devices in the factory to accomplish different automation tasks. Encoders work by sensing the motion of a rotating shaft or wheel and converting it into electrical signals that can determine position, speed, or direction. Since the L38 is a line scan device, an encoder is needed for our applications. A line scan device acquires a line or a cross-section of an object right below the sensor. It requires the camera or object to move to capture several lines that will be stitched together to form an image. The encoder keeps track of the spacing between the acquired lines. It is important to distinguish between the different types of encoders when selecting the one that is best for your application. Incremental encoders are the standard for vision systems. They indicate that motion has occurred but will not indicate positional information. Within incremental encoders, there are multiple ways to send this information via output channels. When determining the number of output channels, you can select either a single channel or quadrature encoder. A single channel encoder has one output signal that pulses with each step of the rotation. A quadrature encoder has two output channels with an offset by a quarter of a pulse cycle among them. Since this gives four times more resolution, nearly all encoders used for line scan applications will be quadrature. The Insight L38 can be used with either a single channel or a quadrature encoder. There are two types of quadrature encoders, single-ended and differential encoders that send signals from the output channels. A single-ended encoder has two output channels, A and B, and each gives a single voltage signal ranging from 0 to 5 volts or 0 to 24 volts. A differential encoder has two output channels, A, A negative, B, and B negative. To help with reducing the electrical noise reduction in the signal, each channel has a second inverted voltage signal. Cognix recommends using a differential encoder with the Insight L38. Note, if you would like to use a single-ended encoder with the Insight L38, you must build a conversion circuit when connecting the encoder to the device. Please refer to the Insight L38 hardware manual for more information. The resolution of an encoder is defined by how small a change in distance the encoder can measure. For line scan, we measure resolution as the distance between lines. For example, for smaller feature sizes, like printed circuit board components, it will require a higher resolution to capture smaller details. Resolution is dependent on many factors, including how many pulses per rotation, also referred to as PPR, the diameter of the shaft, or the number of output channels. You can find the PPR and encoder's shaft size in your encoder's datasheet. To calculate the resolution of your encoder or the distance in millimeters between each pulse, divide the circumference of your end shaft by the number of pulses in a revolution. The smaller the parts or features you are looking to inspect, the higher your encoder resolution should be. Your minimum feature size will be the smallest detail that you're trying to inspect on a part. Cognex recommends Hengstler encoders. Refer to the table for more information. Connecting the encoder is straightforward. In this example, we will be using a differential Hengstler encoder, RS422 plus Alarm R. Within the Insight L38 hardware manual, there are schematics on how to connect other types of encoders. As seen in this graphic, we will be connecting four wires into the A, A negative, B, and B negative channels. Refer to the encoder's datasheet to know which wires to connect, and then connect the wires to the correct channels. In this case, connect the white wire to A, the white slash brown striped wire to A negative, the green wire to B, and the green slash brown striped wire to B negative. Finally, we can test to determine if it works. As the encoder shaft rotates, the indicator within the InSight Vision Suite should display the encoder's direction. To review, the L38 is a line scan device that requires an encoder to create accurate point clouds. Incremental encoders are recommended for vision systems. Single-channel encoders have one output channel, 
while quadrature encoders have two output channels, resulting in four times the resolution. There are two types of quadrature encoders, single-ended encoders which require a conversion circuit to connect to the device, and differential encoders which help reduce noise. The correct resolution for your application is dependent on the size of the part you're inspecting. Smaller parts will require a higher resolution. Resolution can be calculated using the encoder's pulse per rotation and shaft size. Cognex recommends using an incremental differential encoder with the Insight L38. Thank you for watching.